Well, Craig and myself are leaving our campground. We're all packed up and we're gonna go just down to the other end of the campground, of the overall campground where we agreed to meet the other guys. So it will be quite a while yet. It's only, I don't know, 10, 45, 11, something like that. And we, they're not gonna be down until probably one or two o'clock. Oh yeah, we could get out that way. So they're not going to show up till no earlier than one. So we have at least a couple hours to hang out, and it might even be later than that. We'll we'll see. They're, uh, I mean, three four hours north of us. Best, oh, best case scenario. Yeah, the dead end. I thought it was a dead end. I thought maybe he remembered something different than me. Joe, turn the wheel. <sighs> All right, well, the guys showed up. Some of them did. Three of them bailed and went a different direction. Three came down, so there's just five of us going back. And we're gonna take a different road that's faster and supposed to be a little a little better overall, which is fine by me, and there's no uh, there's no BDR route with a massive creek to try to get by, so that's good too. <laughs> So apparently the route we took yesterday wasn't the 40 miles I thought it was going to be because we actually took a, a different route when we hopped on the BDR. So um, that could have been, I don't, I don't know, it could have been 50 miles. I just passed a sign that was showing 28 uh, for Garden Valley, which is what we're aiming for. So that's, that's a lot better. So that's good. Hopefully it shortens the day. And then we're gonna have a nice sit down meal when we get there and just chill out and chat. And, Good times. Now we just all need to keep keep upright in the meantime. <laughs> oh, there's the dead Deadwood Dam. I don't think I got this on the camera, the video camera last night. Look at that. You see the whole damn thing from here. The whole damn thing. <laughs> Hopefully they have some, some damn vending machines when we get up there. I went down there yesterday, so I'll let them. I thought this was a particularly beautiful spot. Reminds me of a lot of the Pacific Northwest, where I was born and raised. There's one amazing vista after another out here. Just we're on tops on the tops of the mountains, man. One after another. There's a lot of burn, but it's a mix of things. It's just beautiful. Look at that. One, two, three. Four, five. I can see five ridges. And I think, man, I don't know what mountains those were, but they're big. Phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Buddy, 
Check this action out. Ah, man. That last section was a butt clincher, but I didn't dare turn on the camera when I was coming down. That was a butt clincher! <laughs> yeah. Getting into my territory. I forgot to put earplugs in. Oh well. Garden Valley, we're into the area now. Just a few more miles, and I'm not sure where we're going to eat. Uh, one of them mentioned it earlier, but yeah, I'm looking forward to sitting down and getting some nice, tall, cold water and a nice meal. I'm really hungry. This is hard work, satisfying, but hard work. Yeah, and going back to uh, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I let some pressures out of my tire, I let some pressure out of my tires earlier. And it made all the difference. It op really opened things up for me. So I'm gonna experiment with that some more and see what you know what the right pressures are, me are for me and my bike and the weight and everything that I carry. And, and man, if I could have, you know, if I could have, you know, felt like I could have messed more with the pressures yesterday, uh, you know, just done it. I might have avoided that the first time I fell. But it is what it is. And I've learned a few things along the way and know the worst not know the worst for the wear, so that's the main thing. So we're pushing forward. 